What is up, YouTube? So today, we have a very interesting video. As you can see from the title of this video, we are going to be doing a get ready with me slash how does filming a makeup tutorial look on an iPhone 11 Pro Max? I did want to film a colorful look to see the vibrancy and see if it captures it in true color or if it's kind of dull or too vibrant. All of my thoughts on this filming process will be written in the description box and I will definitely share with you guys what my thoughts are after I edit the video. If you want to see what it's like filming on an iPhone 11 Pro Max, then just keep on watching. I am going through the footage and I realized that the first half of the video is completely blurry. The whole time I'm telling the story about how I got the iPhone and all of that, it's all blurry. But the rest of the footage is fine. The whole point of the video was for you to get the gist of how filming on an iPhone 11 looks like. So I am going to keep that blurry part, but so sorry. The amount of time it took me to set this all up, to make this happen. I'm actually going to play around with this a bit. I want to see if there's like an autofocus feature, which I think there is. I film on a Canon Rebel T3i, so it's quite old and it does not autofocus. So I do have to autofocus on my laptop, get the shot and autofocus back to me. So that is a hassle. So if this like autofocus is really well, I might be sold. I wanted to check at the Apple store first to get the iPhone 11. I did want the three cameras. I didn't really care for like, it had to be a Max or anything like that. We got to the mall on Friday around 5 p.m. and there was a line. The line wasn't long, it was packed. We just looked at it and then we just walked away. We didn't walk over, we didn't go see what was happening or what was going on. We decided we'll go to the AT&T store. If you're familiar with Fashion Place, it's like right there. We walked over to the AT&T store. There were a lot of people in there. And after I had signed in, I was like number six in line and they told me it would be about a 40 to 50 minute wait. So I thought, that's not bad. You know, we'll walk around the mall or you get something to eat and just sit and wait. The lady had told us that they had phones, not a lot, but that they had iPhone 11 phones. So daughter wants me to show you her kitty. I honestly didn't mind that we would wait because I had to back up my phone. So prior to us finally meeting with an associate to discuss getting the phone, we already heard that they had run out. By the time that we heard, I was from number six to like number three. So I thought, you know, what's the point? We're already here. We'll just see and make sure that they don't have any more. We overheard that they would have more tomorrow or on Saturday. An associate came up to us and he was like, oh, thank you so much for your patience or for waiting. And we were like, yeah, no problem. And he was like, what can I do for you guys? And we were like, we want the iPhone 11 Pro Max. He immediately told us they're sold out. The guy was like, you know what? Let me go look in the back real quick. Let me double check. We waited and we were talking about it and I, I had told my mom that if they didn't have it, I did want to hit up another AT&T store. The fact that they sold out or had no more iPhone Pro Pro Maxes by like 5 p.m. on launch day, to me wasn't all that bad. Like I felt like if it was a hype, it would have been gone in the morning. So he came back and he was like, yeah, I have no more. I looked everywhere didn't find anything. All that they had left was just the iPhone 11s. He said that if we wanted a Pro or a Pro Max to come back in the morning, they do it on a first come first serve so they couldn't reserve or hold the phone. We honestly didn't even think to go back to the Apple store and like check and see what's going on. We just, we actually ate CPK and then we left. So we went to the at and store in Jordan Landing. We just wanted to see, you know, who knows, you know, maybe that location had some or not. So we walked in and there were a little bit of people there, a few associates and they're like, oh, someone will be right with you. So we're like, oh, okay, cool. On display, they had the iPhone 11. So I thought for sure they'll have it. So 
We sat on the table probably for like 15 minutes and the guy came up to us and he was like, what can I do for you? My mom was like, what do you guys have? Like, do you have iPhone 11 Pros? And immediately a totally different associate who wasn't even a part of this conversation was like, oh, we sold it. I sold the last one. Like the rose gold one, the 256, yeah, I sold it. And I was like, okay. So the guy was like, oh, sorry. Um, you know, we're all sold out. And so then we were like, when would you be expecting another shipment or your next shipment? And he was saying that they would expect Monday, which compared to the Fashion Place mall, they would have their next shipment on the next day. We're like, oh, okay, cool. Thank you for your time. And that was it. The next morning, we head out to Fashion Place. I was pretty set on just going to Fashion Place. I didn't want to go to other AT&Ts to hopefully hope that they'd have it. We got to Fashion Place like at 9.45 and there was no line. So we thought, oh, good chance, you know. Once it hit 10 o'clock, the same associate that we spoke to the day prior, he opens the door and he tells us that their shipment did not come in. He didn't know when the mail would be delivered. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just call and ask if we have it and we will let you know. We can't hold it for you, but of course we will let you know. In my head though, I was kind of like, shoot, man, you know, like we have to hang out in the area just in case that they do have it, we'll have to hurry back and get it. I just got a call and I don't know why I didn't think of it. I didn't think to put my phone on airplane mode. That day, we were planning on meeting up with my sister for breakfast. So we were getting ready to head out. Sister told me that she wasn't ready. So we were sitting there deciding what to do. So we thought, let's go check the Apple store and see what's going on there. We walked in, the line wasn't bad. It didn't look as packed as it did the day before. So we thought, we have an hour to kill. Why not stand in line? Line was moving quick. Like, and there were associates, you know, coming around and asking and talking to everyone. We had noticed that people were making reservations and leaving and being told to come back at a later time. And in my head, I was kind of like, I don't want to leave. You know, I don't, I'm already in line. I'm almost to the front. The girl came up to us and she was like, what can I do for you guys? And my mom was asking her, you know, why are people leaving? And what is that all about? So she explained to us that... What she was doing was she was reserving the phone for you. And it is it is already yours. You would just have to come back at a later time to get it, but it's yours. Like you don't have to hopefully get it, it's yours. Mind you, this was probably, about, the mall opened at 10. The whole thing happened, we sat in the car for a little bit. So we were talking to her around 10.30. She took down my information and she had asked me what phone did I want? Assuming, you know, like AT&T who sold out of their iPhone Pros, which I don't even think I mentioned this, but so they sold out of the Pro, Pro Max while I was in the store. Like the guy who got it was two people ahead of me. Two people! I immediately asked her, what do you guys have in stock? The only thing that they didn't have in stock for the Pro Max was the silver gray color. But other than that, they had everything else. So I thought, oh, cool. So she was like, what color do you want? And so I was like, oh, like, I don't even know. I thought, I'll just get the midnight green. Y'all have it. It's in stock. It's new. Why not? Blah, blah, blah. Did all that. And then we, she told us that we had to come back an hour later. So we decided to just hang out at the mall. My sister then ended up joining us. When we went back to Apple at 11.30, I was able to just go to the front of the line, let an associate know that I was here, and I was able to just go right in. I didn't have to wait extra or anything like that, so it was super nice. So I did get my phone through Apple. I was able to get it the second day. I don't feel like I the wait for it or anything like that was, I guess it wasn't what I expected for a launch weekend i did want to mention a few things though so if you normally upgrade your phones through at&t didn't know um, you can go to the apple store 
and upgrade there. They do work with all phone carriers. And I was talking to the associate that was like multiple claims that she heard from other customers was that, oh, Verizon sold out of their phone. That's why I'm here. Sprint sold out of their phones. I just want to finish this up real quick before I move on to the other eye. Picking it up at the Apple store though, your build separately so you know how if you get a new phone you're billed within your phone plan with apple they bill you for the phone and then your phone bill is still billing you for the services that is something that i have to figure out when that time comes or when that first monthly payment comes just to see how that's gonna work at&t does know that i upgraded my phone they already have it in their system that I have an iPhone 11 Pro Max and all of that information. So that was like super smooth. Though what I noticed when you purchase or get the iPhone, they do offer you to pay it full price or to do the installments, which is 30 month installments. And what I noticed was that they kind of like open up a loan for you. Maybe I'll include a little wording here, but I don't know if it affects your credit score. I am going to look into that. Um, of course, it's a small loan just to cover the cost of the iPhone and then you're paying it back through monthly increments, but I don't know if it affects your credit score. So I'm going to put that here. After I got my phone, I was able to go to a table where it's like helping you set up your phone. I didn't look into purchasing a case or a screen protector there just because I knew at AT&T, I do have a discount through my dad. While I was setting up my phone, that is when I traded in my iPhone 8. We went through the whole process of erasing everything off the phone and resetting it back to factory settings. So I knew that everything was gone off of my phone. I don't know if Apple was doing this or if AT&T was doing this. I will look into that too and put it right here. Because I traded in my phone, I was able to get a $300 credit off of the original price of the phone so the iphone 11 pro max midnight green 256 gigabytes costed around 1200 so i was able to knock off 300 so it came down to 949 which is a really good deal i think when i got the iphone 8 i believe it was around like 1100 the original price and that was that's what i was paying off but i'm paying off the 949 which i thought was quite amazing so if you are trading in a phone i don't know if it was just this weekend um or how long that is but um you do get 300 dollars credit you can't have any scratches or damages or anything like that it does have to be perfect i'm actually paying less than what i was paying for the iphone 8 so that is also why i wanted to upgrade because i did want less monthly payments i was probably in the store for a good 30 minutes doing everything before i was out so it was pretty quick there was a lot of people but there was a lot of associates working so yeah then after that we went out to eat so i'm gonna film this other eye for instagram and then we will come back and do the rest of the face for primer today i'm going to use smashbox photo finish i think i'm honestly obsessed with like the autofocus <laughs> And that's because I don't have a camera or a system that auto focuses. So I think that's what, if, if I were to do this again, that would be a reason why. Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Concealer, Foundation and Concealer in the shade 07 Sand. I originally started using this shade this summer because it was the only foundation I had in my shade. Now I'm honestly obsessed. Just fell in love with the foundation again. So I'm applying it with a beauty sponge, which is my favorite way to apply this foundation. I think except my dad, oh, except my husband too. Everyone else in my family has the iPhone 10 X R X, whatever that is, X R X. We were kind of joking of how like I'm new to this. It was kind of frustrating getting used to it because I was so used to just pressing the home button. Something though that I'm struggling with at the moment is Facebook. I must have set it up like high security or something to where I have to enter a code. Like if I use a, if I log in on a new browser or an unknown browser, 
um, that I need a code. So it's like in the settings part. So obviously I can't access that when I don't even have access to it on my new phone. So it says, or it's telling me to access it through another device where I have access through. So I tried to do it through my iPad this morning and she was not, she was like, who are you? Like she was, she was not loading. So I was like, great, this is, this is great. So I'm going to have to try it again. We're going to cream contour with Jeffree Star concealer. This is in the shade. I don't know if you guys could see it, but C26. This is actually my favorite um, product to cream contour. The shade is like amazing like for my skin tone i'm obsessed with it it reminds me of the elf concealer i also use that to cream contour but just a little bit more blendable and like opaque a lot of the color isn't going away with the beauty blender it's like still staying on my face and i like to cream contour for a base for the contour I have been doing it lately, especially with dramatic looks, but I am going to conceal. So I'm going to use the Stay Naked Concealer. This is in the shade 50WY. We're just going to apply it underneath the eyes. So I really like this concealer. I feel like for right now, it is a good concealer shade, but I do feel like when my skin tone lightens up, it may be like an everyday concealer shade for me prior to filming this video i did hear a few claims of how this this phone would be best for vlogging when i heard those claims i was kind of like you're kidding me we have started to vlog again as a family i bought a camera it's a vlog <laughs> That's amazing. I did take a few videos and I would definitely have to agree that the camera, the camera itself is just really, really good. Compared to the iPhone 8 that I had, it's really, really good. I'm also excited to take makeup photos. If you follow me on Instagram, then you would know that lately the makeup photos have been for my iPhone. I'm just doing a little baking. Normally when I film, I use two soft boxes and a backlight, which you can see. Today, I am using a ring light with those other um, lights. So it is definitely a lot brighter than normal. But I feel like, I, like through looking through the monitor and stuff, I feel like the color isn't washed out, which I'm, I'm kind of obsessed with. So now I'm just applying a powder foundation while dusting away baking I am excited to edit this video to see how it comes out like I'm I'm super excited blush like you meant it if you have been following me for quite some time it's the same one <laughs> definitely hit pan and we're definitely still using her it's just for my skin tone, if you are my skin tone or even like a tanner, olive undertone, deeper skin tone, it's just such a good blush. Now I'm going to highlight the center of my face with Fenty Beauty Mean Money. That's the one where we've hit pan. If you like want to highlight but don't want like a blinding highlight or like just being extra with a highlight, definitely get Mean Money from the Kilowatt highlighter. It definitely brightens your face, but it doesn't like blind you with it. Now let me do the lower lash line, pink. Just, just to help bring the look together. Now let's apply highlighter to the eyes. And on Reezy highlighter, when I highlight the eyes, I feel like it's a good amount of drama then we hit the brow bone just the tops of the cheeks and the temples <laughs> let's do the lip i do want to let my nose bake i'm using nyx cosmetics downtown beauty 
this brown shade is a few shades darker than my skin tone, especially when I want a lot more definition. This is perfect. Okay, wait, that is actually looking a lot darker than it is in person. I'm going to use L'Oreal. This is their Color Riche Lip Shine, I think. Color Riche Shine in 900 Glossy Fawn. Then let's dust off. Oh, yes. Let's set the face. I'm using Smashbox Primer Water to set my face. And that is my completed look. I'm probably going to leave a little review in the description box when I edit the video and kind of see what um, is going on. But let me show you guys the cameras and what um, it looks like. So this currently is 1x, so I think this is like the normal shooting range. This, I believe, is the wide angle. This is the 0.5. As you can see, you can see all my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I would ever film in this angle because y'all can see everything. <laughs> I love this angle for taking pictures. 0.5. And then this is the two times. So if you follow me on Instagram, I did film an Instagram small kind eyeshadow look with the two times. Then, so you guys will be able to see makeup in action. Now you can see how off my backlight is. This closeness would be good for like makeup tutorials. I think I'm kind of obsessed with, with how my makeup's looking. So now I'm screen recording to show you guys this, but what I noticed or kind of fell on was that when I pressed here, I was able to choose how close. And the closest you can get is 6x, which is here. That's really close. How, how do we, how is this though, like for makeup? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna give you guys so much of my thoughts in the description bar, but look at this. I'm actually curious with how photos come out. Can you imagine? So 6x is the closest we can come. Mind you, I'm still sitting where I've been. This is just 6x. Sorry, I forgot to include like a little yeah, fresh can... camera video. And why am I liking the quality? Wait a minute. What? Where are you going? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So I'm in natural lighting and why are we like kind of obsessed with this? Why am I obsessed with this? I don't even know. Wait, but I really, really like how this looks. Wait, I'm obsessed. See how we are like in low light. It's not that bad. Okay, I'm, a, I, I'm, I'm obsessed with this front camera action. So that is what filming on an iPhone 11 looks like. Like I said, all my thoughts and opinions are definitely going to be down below in the description box when I edit this video and see how everything came out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So I hope if you were thinking about purchase, purchasing this phone, that it kind of helps you out in making that decision. Um, Please follow me on Instagram and any other social media platforms that I do have listed down below. If you want to keep up with me elsewhere, subscribe for more videos and definitely stay tuned because we are going to try to crank out as much as we can. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one.